Hello friends, I am Lakshman. You are watching Learn Programming by Lucky Soar YouTube channel. In this video, I am sharing the fundamental topic is difference between OOP and POP. Many beginners have no depth knowledge on this. Before discussing the difference between OOP and POP, let us first to know some basic concepts of the programming process. There are two approaches, the result of software development evaluation over many decades. These approaches nothing but top-down programming and bottom-up programming. The basic purpose of these approaches are to make programming efficient. That means to make the process of writing a complex program less harder, bug-free, easily understandable, easily modifiable, etc. First, let us know what is OOP. OOP stands for Object Oriented Programming. It is based on two main concepts such as object and class. Objects are key to understanding object oriented technology. Object is anything that really exists in the world and can be distinguished from others. Everything that we see physically will come into this definition. Examples human being, a book, a tree and so on. Every object has properties and exhibits some behavior. Class represents a group name given to several objects. A class is a template or blueprint to create objects. We can also define a class is a software design which describes the general properties of something which the software is modeling. OOP approaches focuses mainly on data rather than on the algorithm for handling data. Since both data and functions that handle the data are bundled within objects, no modifications can be done on the data by external functions. OOP programming has four main features abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism, and inheritance. OOP also supports high modularity. Adding new functions of data does not require altering the complete programming. It can be simply be done by creating a new object since objects are independent to declare and define. Thus, OOP can be efficient and high in productivity. Considering the programming design, OOP follows a bottom-up approach. Some popular OOP languages are Java, Python, Perl, VB.NET, and C++. Now let us know about O. Sorry, about POP. POP means procedure-oriented programming. It views the problems as a sequence of things to be done and is based on the concept of procedure calls. Programs are, programs are divided into smaller section called procedures, also known as routines, subroutines, methods or functions. Using POP languages might sometimes prove to be difficult when modeling real world problems. Data can be passed between the procedures and each procedure transforms the data from to one from to another. Most of the data are global and can be accessed freely from any function in the system. Since POP does not support effective techniques for hiding the data, the program might be insecure. In POP, it might be difficult to identify what data is used by which functions at times since global data is largely shared between functions. 
So examples for pop languages are COBOL, Pascal, Protron and C language. Now let us see the difference between OOP and POP. Look at the slide and read very well. One side is OOP and the side is POP. In OOP, the first point is programs are divided into parts known as objects. In POP, in these programs are divided into functions. Now, OOP, the main focus of OOP is on the data. Now in POP, the main focus of POP is on the procedures. OOP follows bottom-up approach. POP follows top-down approach. OOP has access specifier such as public, private, etc. In POP, in this most functions use global data. OOP provides data hiding, data associated with the program. So security is provided. But POP does not have any access specifiers and it does not provide any data security. OOP has ease of modification. Whereas POP has modification is very difficult. So O programming examples are Java, Perl, etc. Pop programming language examples are C, Cobol, etc. So that's all about some of the main differences between OOP and Pop. So if you like our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more and more videos and share to your friends so and also likes our videos so thank you for visit and don't forget uh, to subscribe our youtube channel and show it to your friends also so might be they also very useful these videos so we are having freshers and finally students so thank you for visit have a nice day